My name is Dr. Shawan Gallette, and you're here at the Dayton Trichology Hair Loss Control Clinic. Today I'm going to be working with the patient that's dealing with diffuse hair thinning. She's dealing with diffuse hair thinning as a result of medications that she's taking. She's taking several different medications that are creating deficiencies within her body. So sit back and look at me do a consultation with the patient that's dealing with diffuse hair thinning. Today I'm working with a patient that has what's called diffuse hair thinning. What you can tell with the difference with diffuse thinning and other patients that you've seen me use or uh, demonstrate with is that there's not a difference in the density from the crown all the way to the nape. There's the same exact amount of hair. What has happened is that for some reason their hair follicles have actually started to constrict and miniaturize and so the hair actually gets thinner. The hair is not receiving the amount of nutrients that it needs to receive. Um, as women, we have a lot of things that can be going on. It could be hormones. It could be medications that we're on. It can be um, different products that we're using. It can be high stress levels. It can be our diets. So like I mentioned before, the first thing I do is a blood test. After I do the blood test, and make sure that the body has what it needs. Um, one of the things I do is I use a dermoscope to see exactly where she's at in the miniaturization process. So what I'm going to do is actually look at her hair follicles to make sure there's first not any inflammation around the hair follicle and that's really important. About 80% of the patients I see they do have inflammation. So I'm looking to make sure she doesn't have any inflammation. One of the things I would like to do at this point since I've actually looked at her hair follicles, I've actually looked at her scalp, I made sure she didn't have any miniaturization. In the areas where she had mild miniaturization, I'm going to actually do a recommendation to help reduce some of the inflammation that she does have around that particular hair follicle or that area of hair follicles. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a device to find out the percentage of hair loss that she has accumulated so that I'll know what my job is as a trichologist in terms of getting her hair to regrow. Now that I've done the basic part of the consultation, I've looked for miniaturization in her hair follicles. I've actually looked to see how much of her hair follicles um, have actually started to thin. Now I need to know the percentage of thinning that she has experienced in relation to her whole entire head. So what I'm going to actually do is go in and test to find out the density loss. And so I use a device that helps me determine how much hair she's lost. And it actually gives me a reading. And it takes it all the way out to the end. Okay. It tells me exactly how much hair she's lost. I'm going to actually proceed with the treatment that's going to help uh, my particular patient today in aiding her into getting her hair back the normal thickness that she would have. One of the things that I have determined with this particular patient is that she's dealing with diffuse thinning. Diffuse thinning just simply means that she's thinning all over the whole entire scalp. So one of the things you have to find out is what's causing that. So as a trichologist and a naturopathic doctor, it's my goal to find out what is the root cause of her thinning. One of the, the main things that cause thinning is actually nutritional or mineral deficiencies. So as I look on my chart, and just to give you an example of one of the things that can cause thinning, if you look at copper, for example, if your body is deficient in copper, one of the first things you're going to experience is alopecia. So a lot of times I have patients that are experiencing thinning, and they have a lot of different uh, mineral deficiencies that cause that type of thinning, and my goal is to find out what deficiencies they have. So now we're going to start the treatment that I have actually, treatment plan that I put together for Wanda. Um, Wanda's going to do a series of things, a series of different therapies. Um, what I'm going to start off with is a really good scalp exfoliation. This particular scalp exfoliation that I'm doing is one that's actually a homemade regimen. So I'm going to actually take some capsules and um, drop the capsules right down into the treatment. And this is a really strong exfoliation. 
There are several different types of exfoliations that I use here in the clinic depending on the type of hair loss, the type of scalp condition, and what are the desired results. Now since I have applied the scalp disfoliation, I'm going to actually uh, give my patient a really nice steam treatment to open up the hair follicles and allow it to penetrate. The next step in our process of actually helping Wanda to regain her normal thickness is we do have the scalp exfoliation on her scalp. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a nice hair mask on her hair. As you can see her hair is really dense. So I want to start building her hair up. So I want to do some things internally and externally. And I'm going to just apply the mask from her scalp all the way out to the ends of her hair shaft. So now I'm going to put Wanda under steam therapy to help open up her hair cuticle and allow it to penetrate from her scalp and also for her hair. So now I'm actually going to finish up the last step of Wanda's therapy. We're going to use high frequency rake to increase blood circulation. Blood circulation will then encourage hair growth. So I've kind of finished the treatment and I look back at what's causing her hair loss. One of the first things I notice is that her iron levels are really, really, really low. When your iron levels are low, it causes a thinning. I also notice that she's very deficient on vitamin D. Vitamin D can also cause thinning within the hair. She has several medications that she's taking that she has to take that is creating a deficiency within her body and it's also causing her to have diffuse thinning. This process is going to be a process that takes a while because we have to make sure things are balanced internally. Once we get those things together internally, we'll look at getting her hair to grow and not only grow but go back to her normal thickness. So each time she comes into the clinic, I'll actually take photos from a um, digital standpoint and a microscopic standpoint to compare and make sure that her hair is actually growing. So stay tuned for more information and more updates on her diffuse thinning.